Hello, my lovely Leos. <clears throat> Ivy Phoenix here with your March 2019 reading. All the ways to get in contact with me are down below. Thank you so much for all of your support. General reading, also the ways on how to view videos on my channel are in the description box. So let's just get right on into it. Leo, there's somebody in your life. Um, this could be a friend. This could be romantic. A little more, please. There's just somebody in your life that I feel is not exerting the same amount of effort that you are, that you really want them to. Um, and it's putting, it's putting you, I don't mean to laugh. That's way too many. Just one more, please. Um. It's putting you in this place that you that you don't really know what to do about it. Um, and I say that because here, Leo, you know, like it's one of those, I don't remember which one came out first. It's one of those situations where it's just like, but I'm me. Like, how are you not? I want to say, you know, like bending to my will, you know, those types of things. But it's, I also feel like it's a, it's a tad bit deeper than that. Um, it's not as superficial. I believe that this is a, a relationship, a connection of some sort that you have really shown up in, or at least you think that you've shown up in it. And you can't understand why this person is now flipping the script on you. There's something that binds you two together. Um, But there's going to be a major, you know, direction that you're going to need to choose here. King of Pentacles energy is here at the bottom. Um, I usually don't do sign call outs, but I really want to say perhaps they are an earth sign or perhaps they are so stuck in their ways or perhaps this is you. General reading, so it could be, you know, either way. Um, but now that somebody is sitting on their own throne, it feels as if, you know, things are now starting to change. And as a ruler, how, how do you deal with that? You know, um, as a ruler who cares about this individual or potentially these people, but I do think that it is one specific person for you. Um, how do you how do you rule with that? How do you how do you deal with that? How do you make a decision about that if you want them to be in your life? But at the same time, it's how do you still hold them accountable? You're a Leo. You know, you are ruled by the sun. You are ruled by this sense of, dare I say it, entitlement. You know, um, there are things that are naturally attracted to you because you are this huge, massive energy that everybody else revolves around you know like if we're just calling a spade a spade and how leo sun energies most of them you know i'm not going to generalize it because of the other parts of the natal chart that could impact the um that individual but when just looking at it from an energetic standpoint it's like how are you not falling in line how are you not playing your role the roles that we established together you know where you may have given up you know some of your grandeur to um make sure that this friendship or relationship worked and it's still feeling like it's not getting there you know and can you leo as who you are understand if this has run its course you know, um, I, I feel as if you think that you have to be the fixer or because of who you are, things can be fixed when there are just sometimes things that we may have really, truly wanted to stick around and be with us forever in a day can't. And it's not to say that potentially this can't come back around or anything like that. Just all these things that I'm channeling. It's not to say that it can't come back around. It's just for right now, I don't think that this is for you. And there needs to be a moment of acceptance with that fact. I feel like by um, July, you know, the seventh month of the year. Um, and I want to say it's going to play out between July and also um, 
you know, October, because that will be seven, seven months. Yes, that'll be seven months from this time, from March. So between July and October, I feel like you're going to have that moment where you're going to be like, you know what, I think I've done all that I can to invest in this energy. And it's now like it's in your court. And although you're moving slowly away from it, it's the fact that you're moving away from it that I think needs to have more appeal here. You definitely feel left, you know, with the five of pentacles here. Um, you, you do feel like you've been abandoned and that's very difficult for you. But at the same time, you know, um, <laughs> like she, he's rolling the dice. You know, like, uh, I feel as if that's the kind of way that you're going to be making a decision. You're, some of you is leaving it to chance, but it's still like this hopeful chance. Like, even as you're rolling the dice, you're still hoping that it's going to show up on a number that's going to be like, okay, I can give this person another two chances, three chances, four chances. Like, I, I still want to be able to make this work because we built something together. But I don't think that that's what the dice is really going to signify when all of this is said and done. It may in that very moment, but once the energy starts to move, like I said, between July and um, October, I think you're going to understand and see that that dice was really saying, like, this is all that you have to give. Not what you still have to give. It's what you have already given and it's done now. The fact that you are sitting up here even trying to leave it to chance is signifying to you that you know it is something that you need to step away from. So like I said, with this Nine of Wands here, I do feel like you've put in a lot of energy into this connection. Um, with this, yeah, it signifies that um, it could be romantic. I also feel it's just something very intimate. It's been something that has been around for a while. Um, and it's smack dab in the middle here, you know, the five of wands as well. It, it's been this touch and go, like, do you know who I am? I am the Leo here. I am the one that presumably calls the shots. How are you able to do this to me? And I feel like I've had this happen for you before, Leo, where it's been a message of, I, I don't know what to do. This drives me crazy because it does not fit into the status quo of what I know my life to be. And so what it's doing is causing a shakeup in the stability that you possibly have within friendships, connections, um, romantic partnerships. But I do feel like in that regard, the lesson here is to let you know that no matter who you think you are, you are still able to succumb to the energy at will. You know, like you um, you can still be sitting up on this throne. You could still be sitting up on this throne. You could still be, you know, moving through the streets of your quote unquote kingdom, being admired and um, building and all of that other type of stuff. But at the same time, there are things going on behind you that you may not understand, but it is going to be necessary to ensure that you can continue um, building yourself, building those around you, keeping the energy that is meant to be around you there and letting go of the rest. It's a lot to discuss. Some of me also feels with this Emperor card, and funny that we have Major Arcana standing on the outside ends of this reading, but I also feel like there are tools here that are able to help you get over this if you would get up. If you would get up, if you would humble yourself a little bit, if you would change your perspective on how your life is supposed to run because of, like I said, who you think that you are, you would realize that you have resources in your corner to um, propel this into another direction, okay? So um, instead of doing any type of clarifiers, I wanted to add, I'm adding an extra oracle layer to the readings this month because with Pisces season kicking off March, I feel as if you definitely need to be paying attention to your dreams. So I'm using the Angel Dreams Oracle deck here. You want to go back? So, Leo. One more, please. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Let's go with the bottom first. Spiritual activation, stimulation, um, power. 
newfound power for you. Um, catalytic power as well. Um, I keep Celia Knight not only on the table, but I also keep it with me as I do any type of reading. Um, and I feel as if there, there's, there's a shift that needs to be made within you, Leo. I feel now that Leo has been, you know, moving more into cancer energy from a North Mill perspective, you have felt like, okay, so the things that I have learned, you know, like, um, the the skills that I have gained, those types of things, I'm able to put them into practice, but you're still having to grow. Like, just because the North Node was in your sign and, you know, brought about some realizations for you doesn't mean that the work ends. The work still continues. There will be another flow of North Node and Leo energy um, in many of your lifetimes. Um, there's levels to it, Right. And so I also feel like some of the things that you've really been trying to keep a hold of, but have shown you over and over and over and over again, that it may not be for your best good. It is finally time for you to be like, Leo, you cannot control everything. You can't control the outcome. Kitchen, creation. I think that you do want to solidly create your own reality and that's totally within your power it's totally within your right to ask for that but then when you ask for it understand the release element of it and that also means releasing the expectation on how it's going to come back to you winter is here reflection transition okay like i said i release come come on now and then we have fairy i'm sorry fairy environment your environment is changing and I really do think that there is going to need to be a moment within this month Leo's where you are accepting that I what's the fight for is the fight just for the controlling mechanism of it you know like is is it worth it like you have to make those types of assessments for situations but i really think primarily it's in a very specific connection for you let's get one please for leo So you're going to have a specific one coming in. There we go. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Leo. It's time to come down a little bit. It's time to get up. It's time to realize what else is around you, what else you still have to offer the world that other people aren't meant to be along for the ride for. The Abby Phoenix here. <laughs> that is your message, Leos, for March 2019. I absolutely love and adore you all. Again, like I said, thank you so much for all of your continuous support, all the ways to get in contact with me, be a part of the FIRE family down in the description box below. Until next time, mwah, love you.